everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Today I have an exciting unboxing to share with you because I ordered from Hobonichi again. This is my first order in 2016 and I just quickly wanted to share what I got. So I got another one of those flyers that you have probably seen in my previous unboxing video for 2016. And again, it comes in this really nice pale blue box, which I absolutely love. And they always package everything so perfectly. It's always really well protected and really well wrapped. So here's what I ordered. So I got this black rivet band and I've been wanting to try one of these for the longest time but the colors that I wanted were never available when I ordered and so I was very happy to get this one this time and then I got this stencil. Mitz actually sent me another one of the stencils, the basic stencil as a gift in a rack and I love it so much that I really wanted to try another one and this is the activities stencil. And then I got another cover because, to be honest, I wasn't too happy with the blue-green cover that I initially bought for 2016, so um, I wanted to try something a little more neutral colored, and so I went with this black cover. And one nice thing about this is that I now have another one of these clear cover on covers because I feel like they get dirty quite easily, they stain quite easily and this is something that bothers me a lot so I think that next year I'm probably going to place an order for a couple of additional clear covers on covers. And this is the black cover, this is one of the, I think the series is just called the color series. It's one of those very basic kind of covers that come in so many different wonderful different colors and this is the black one. It's completely black. It's very neutral. I love it. And it has one, two, one, two, three, four credit card size slots and then this, this pocket right here and then you have these two pockets, another pocket here. And then this is where you slip in your Hobonichi. So I, of course, I want to show you how I am thinking about setting it up. I'm going to use my, my initial cover on cover that I bought last year at the end of last year for this year. You can see that it's already, or maybe you can't see it on camera, but it's already kind of stained and, and I think I will change it out to the new cover on cover in a couple of weeks but for now I'm going to stick with this and this is something that I an idea that I actually got from Mitz as well I will link her wonderful channel my life Mitz down below as always and she cuts I think she printed this beautiful cover out and then she she cut it to size and she inserted it between her cover and her clear cover on cover to make the hobonichi look a little bit more interesting or to change the style up a little bit and that's what i did i have this is a piece of scrapbook paper that i cut to size and i will leave the dimensions down below i just cut it to size and rounded the corners So that's what it looks like in the cover on cover and now I'm going to add the cover to it. And that's what it looks like. It's 
I think it's very, very beautiful. I love the black and white color theme. And this is my Hobonichi VEC for 2016. As you can see, it's already gotten a little bit thicker, but it's still a really nice and manageable size, so I'm very happy that I went with the Avac notebook for, for this year. There you go, that's how that looks. And I believe that the stencil is just the right size to fit in this pocket right here. Yes, perfect. Okay, that's very nice. So I'm going to use this bookmark here for my monthly pages and I use my monthly pages for the prompts of the Hobonichi Challenge. I'm lucky enough to host this wonderful Hobonichi drawing or doodling challenge on Instagram every month and we've started it in February and we've done it in March as well and we're going to do it in April and I'm hosting it with the wonderful Chatsky Bell, Inky Cauldron, Penguins Creative and My Life Mitts and I will link all of their Instagram feeds down below and you should definitely come join us in the Hobonichi challenge and so if you're journaling in your Hobonichi and you would like to join us in the Hobonichi challenge then join us on Instagram and use the hashtag Hobonichi challenge. So I'm going to use the monthly, the, this bookmark for the monthly pages and then I'm going to use this bookmark here for my daily pages. There we go. Very nice. And then as for the pencil board, I'm wondering if I can use this pocket for the pencil board. No, it won't fit. So I guess I will go with this pocket right here for the pencil board. I think it looks really nice. I really, really like the black and white theme. I know it's not for everyone, but right now I'm totally feeling the black and white white vibe, so um, it's perfect. And then I have my Muji pen here, my trusted 0.38 tip Muji pen, which I've been using for quite some time now as my journaling pen because it just writes so nice and smooth and the tip is so wonderfully fine. The last thing I have is my rivet band. At least I think that's what they're called. And I would try and link everything that I ordered below. I believe that everything is still in stock as of today. <laughs> Alright, so that's what it looks like. So let me see how this works. I believe you wrap it around twice. All right, so that's what it looks like. I love it. I actually love how this looks. It it's, gives it a very unique touch, I think. And I believe the wonderful thing about this is that you can still use this to close the Bonichi cover if the the flaps for the pen loop the pen loop flaps don't align anymore because it's it's gotten too thick. So that's definitely a problem that I had last year. And even though I'm using the Avac notebooks this year, I think that my Hobonichi is going to get pretty thick in the middle of the year and at the end of the year. So I think it's a really, really nice detail to have and I also love it very much. And I think that it keeps it closed a little bit tighter than the pen loop does. Because with the pen loop, it still had a lot of room to kind of wiggle around and there would be a lot of dirt like getting into the pages and I think it's it's protected a little bit more with this band. Alright, so that was it. That was my unboxing. If you have ordered from Hoponichi lately, I would absolutely love to hear what you got and if you were happy with it. I would also really like to know what kind of cover you're using this year because to be honest I found it kind of hard to choose a cover this year because I was not a huge fan of most of the covers and I wasn't really a huge fan of the spring covers either so 
I, I found it really hard and I'm very happy that I found this black and very neutral one <laughs> that is it's really nice for me right now. I will be back with a new video very soon and I will see you then. Bye!